Hi guys, your girl Cache. I'm back with another video. Um, so today I'm gonna talk about like what inspired me, inspired me to get on YouTube. And like I'm really starting to wonder like if I even want to do this or not. Like, um, I don't want to sit there and just break people down mentally or like ruin somebody's life. Cause growing up my life was ruined, so I know how that shit feel. It's not it's not a good feeling. Like I never want nobody to feel like that. Like growing up, I was gaslit into oblivion. I was mentally played on. I was like manipulated on the highest levels by people who brought me here who brought me into this world fucked over three times so like i don't know if i want to do this i don't know if i want to do this like um as i see it we in the last days and it's like um at this point i just want to be happy i want everybody else to just be happy and live their life like i don't want to like start nitpicking shit and 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 being that involved in somebody else's life okay so let's get started okay so um, what started me to get on YouTube was I started watching Robert Perkins. Um, I think his name is like Team Rob or something like that on, on YouTube now. Uh, okay, so I've been watching him since 2012. I think he came out, out I think he came out in like 2010, but I didn't start watching him since about 2012. Okay, so um I was watching him when he had like the the dreads that were like right here and like that kitchen background. I was watching him at that point. Now that is like my YouTube father. Like I wish I had that type of father. You don't understand. Like he taught me everything from A to Z. Like I listened to him. I respect his opinion, whether I agree with it or not. We gonna agree to disagree. But I I, I listened to him. I got a lot of love for him. I'm, I follow what he say. I'm I'm one of the followers of his viewership. Now um. What I would say was, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But um, after that whole scandal he had with Cynthia G, that shit like back kind of made me back up a little bit, and I had to like really just start um, viewing him from a distance because the fact that he didn't even miss the keep it real, didn't even acknowledge. He didn't even acknowledge it. It wasn't even about the fact that you don't have to put nobody's name in it. It's the fact that you 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 got on here and you stood for some for a certain something, and then like you went against everything you stood for. So it's like, um, I don't know. That was a whole scandal within itself. So after that scandal, I kind of like fell back from watching him on a daily basis because it was like I know everybody him everybody human. Everybody gonna make mistakes. Everybody gonna. Um, Everybody going to just, like, make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Everybody going to fall short or something. But it's just, like, the way he tried to go around that shit and not even acknowledge it scared the fuck out of me. Scared me. Like, you don't understand. Like, I really, really followed this guy from 2012 to now. I mean, from, yeah, from 2012 to now, literally. Like, I really followed his advice. I followed everything he said. I believe he know exactly what the fuck he's talking about. I believe he had um, quality women, quality sex. Um, quality relationship offers. I believe that. I truly believe that in my heart. I believe that he had that. So um, the question I want to pose to you, to him is, um, what what dog did you have in this fight? Because as I as I see it, figuratively speaking, you're on the top looking. You're on the top looking down. Like I know that li literally nobody's on top, nobody's better than the next. I don't know God plan for nobody. God have plan for everybody, and I I'm not God. I don't know what God ha have planned for nobody. But as I can see it, figuratively speaking, you're on the top looking down. So um, I'm saying that to say that people of your, like, um, of your stature, people of your uh, capability, of your quality, um, like I said, to get quality women, get quality sex, get quality relationship offer, don't get on YouTube. Don't get on YouTube and try to, like, um, and try to, like, um, like, um, give advice or like try to like steer people away from the type of guy you are I guess I guess I don't know if that's what you're trying to do you could correct me if I'm wrong but my my question to be to you was what dog did you have in this fight what dog like like and as I, I that's a real question I really want to know what what motivated you to get on YouTube and what's what is your motivation to this day to stay on YouTube to talk about relationships and sex? Like, what's your biggest motivation? I, I, I really want to pose that question to you because I don't get it. I don't get it. Because as I could, like I said, this is just my opinion. Everybody have an opinion. I have an opinion as well. Um, I see you as the person, like I said, on the on the top looking down. So, what the, what the, what the fuck does it matter like to you? Like, what, what do you... 
what is your like care for? Like, what are you what are you trying to get out of this? Like, I I just really want to know that. And so I'm gonna move on. The next one is Derek Jackson. Okay, now with Derek Jackson, um, it's it's uh okay now with this one, I could truly say I be, I truly believe in the beginning of of you making these videos, um, you truly want to teach women self love, self respect, self care, self honor, self appreciation, self um awareness. And I appreciate that. I, I followed your videos maybe from about like maybe 2016. And I really followed your messages for real, for real. The thing about you is I think it started off genuine. But in my opinion, somewhere along the line, this became a business for you. This became a business for you. Um, and I would like to know who you fucking. Because um, at the end of the day, you threw men completely under the bus. Now, I, I'm not mad at you as a woman for trying to give women that boost of confidence, that boost of self-esteem, that boost of self-love. I think all women deserve that. I, I do believe that. But doing, by throwing men completely under the bus, it was a different way you could have went about that. It was a different way you could have went about it. Like you didn't have to um, um, paint women as this complete victim and as this complete. Um, so if they were weak, they're only getting weaker. And then the strong are only going to get more savage. They only gonna get more reckless because they at this point they know like they can be the victims in all situations. So it's only it's only prompt, prompting the women to like be more um whatever they were whatever they were is they getting worse. It's not changing for the better. I think it's worsening them. Like I said, who who you fucking? Like what what type of women did you truly come from or were you uh, fucking before you got on YouTube? To even make you get on YouTube and throw men completely under the bus like that, like it, like I'm not, I'm, I'm not understanding. So, um, like I said, I believe it was genuine in the beginning. I, I learned a lot from you, whether I agree to disagree. I learned, I learned a lot from you. I respect your opinion. I respect it, but I just like to know what, 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 what if I could pose the question, may I ask? What women were you dealing with before you got on this, before you got in this YouTube shit and wanted to throw men completely under the bus? Okay, so we're going to move on. The next one is Minister Jap. Now, I, I listen to Minister Jap. I've been watching him from, from like 2016. Um, I'm from Chicago as well, over east, born and raised. Uh, I live on the south side now, but I'm, I'm from over east all my life. Been over east all my life. Now, um, I had a question for you as well. I fuck with you. You a, you a Chicago nigga? I feel like Chicago niggas want some of the realest niggas because they don't have money to have behind. They don't have fame to have behind. They don't have this rich background. They don't have this this um this city of opportunity. They don't they don't have that. So I feel like when they when they speaking, they probably speaking from the realest perspective ever, ever. Like it's not a choice of whether or not. You want to join a gang or you want to be at war. That's not a choice, depending on where you come from. That's not really a choice for you. That's some shit you automatically have to involve yourself in. Or, or um, I don't know, you're going to be in the way, I guess. Like, you, you either with it or you against, you either with it, against it, or in the way. Period. That's how Chicago go. So, I, I fuck with you heavy because I feel like you are spending some real shit. My question will be to you is, who fucking you? Because anybody who watch your videos and still fucks you, after um like like all the I would say women bashing you are women bashing that's technically what it's called let's call a spade a spade after all the women bashing you doing and all the um like the disgust and disdain you have in black women um I want to know where did that come from where did that originate from what was your motivation behind getting on YouTube. Um, just like who, 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 who motivated you to that extent? Because at the end of the day, um, you, you write about a lot of shit. You write about a lot of shit. You're not lying, but you know, it's like in Chicago, um, women don't have a big range of like, if they want to fuck with a gangbang or not, if they want to fuck, they going to fuck a gangbanger. Like it ain't, it ain't like a, Oh, I don't want to fuck with somebody that dangerous. I got to go. No, that's not, that's rare that you find a person that that um is like what you're attracted to and not in the gang that's that's rare as fuck so there's not something that um like the women said they want to do i mean if they want to have sex they didn't want to be like nuns or some shit i mean i guess they have to 
get with it. So like for women like um I want I know I want to know like what, how do you still fuck women with a straight face if you have this much disdain and this much disgust in your heart for them? Like, what is your motivation to keep fucking them? I, I really want to know. I really, that's a real question I really have for you. And I really want to know, like, what, what really motivates you to get on YouTube? Like, what really motivates this? Okay, so we're going to move on. Um, My next question, my next person that I listen to, I've been listening to him. I've been listening to him since, like, um, I want to say, like, 2018. And his name is Sinful to P. I think he's from Chicago as well. I don't know what part of Chicago, but he's from Chicago as well. Um, I fuck with your, I fuck with your channel heavy. I listen to it. I listen to what you're saying. And I would like to let you know that if this YouTube shit don't work, I want to be one of your hoes. Um, I'm 26 going on 27, no kids, only had sex with one man ever in my life. And at this point, I need that leadership and guidance in my life. So if this YouTube shit don't work out, I'm coming down on the weight. Coming down on the weight. Got a little weight on me, but I'm coming down on it. If this YouTube shit don't work out, what's up? What's up? Because at this point, I feel like we're in the last days. Um, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Whether that's, whether that's, and I want to like submit to a man. So whether it's um, in a family with children, that's fine with me. Or whether it's under the leadership of a, of a strong man, that's what I want. That's what I want to submit to. It, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. I've been wanting this my whole life. I've never been put in a position to have this. I come from a very hateful background, hateful family. Um, we were all born and raised to hate each other. So I never experienced love in my life, ever. So basically, um, yeah, if that, if that could be my dying wish before I leave here. I want to leave, lead with love and leave with love. Leave knowing that I at least... Try to love someone, try to fall in love with someone, try to submit to a man, try to be under someone's guidance and leadership. And that's how I want to go out. That's just how I want to, what I want to be remembered by. Behind behind the family, behind the family that loves me. That's all. So thank you guys. It's your girl Cache signing out. Thank you.